That's what I feel like a lot of these YouTubers don't do. They tell you to do all this shit, but they never show you them doing it. You feel me? Like, that's that's the thing. I really want to just, li just listen. Just be quiet, though, right quick. How the fuck I'm gonna get down? Oh, shit. This shit crazy. <laughs> just listen, though. Birds and shit. Nature. You feel me? You gotta connect to your roots. You gotta touch grass, nigga. You feel me? And they ain't talking about running. You can do that, too. It's a squirrel. I hate fucking squirrel. I'm not shit. I think squirrels don't like me either. Alright, look, man. I'm nervous as shit because I don't really do vlogs. Like, outside. Outside, for real. But I told y'all, I'm living proof of doing what I tell y'all to do. I don't never do shit that I never do. So, I'm finna do this motivational video for y'all. First, I gotta find out where the fuck I'ma say that. It gotta be like a good area. I wanted to do somewhere like right there, but the shade, ooh, no, the shade do hit though. Yeah, we, I think we gonna do something like that. I don't know, but I'm figuring out. I'm trying to see if the sun look better like that. No, nah, no, nah, we gotta definitely go over there. I just hope it ain't no dogs. In. I don't know, bro, dog shit or something, bro. But uh, you gotta do shit that's uncomfortable, bro, because. First of all, if you stay in your comfortable box that you didn't put yourself in, bro, you never gonna, you gonna escalate, yeah, but it's gonna feel like you moving slow, because you still got all this other shit that you don't want to do, because you so uncomfortable, bro, you gotta do what's comfortable, I mean, do the uncomfortable, make it comfortable, bro, you feel me, I'm a little nervous right now, I'm fucking up my words, shit, I can't see, that's why I want to come over here, this is like a fucking movie, a, a setup for a movie or some shit. Hold on. I gotta find the right area, though. Let's really lock in, for real. Hold on. I just want y'all to see this shit. And I did come in a good neighborhood to do this. Because I wasn't finna go to the hood to do this type of shit. Uh, I will, though, for sure. Because that's another thing I gotta overcome. But as of now, we focusing on one thing at a time, bro. Look at this fucking view. So look, I don't got no setup, and I just said fuck it, I'ma hold the camera in my hand, and we gonna do it like that. I wanna hold it like this, but I know my tent, my hand gonna get tired and shit. We gonna do it like this. Look, bro, you gotta do what's uncomfortable. Cause if you stay in this box that you put yourself in, it's like you elevating, but you not elevating cause you not going nowhere. You still got other shit that you don't wanna deal with cause you so afraid to do this shit. And you don't even be afraid to do it. You be afraid to do it because you worry about other people's opinions and how they feel about what you finna do or what you don't want to do. If you just do the shit, and when you finally overcome it, bro, it's like doing a challenge, and you finally got done to the fucking challenge, and you completed the challenge, bro. That's the best feeling ever. That's like playing a fucking game, and you finally beat the game, bro. It's on to the next. That's how you got to look at shit when it comes to being uncomfortable, you gotta want to get out the box. You gotta want to complete the challenge to move on to the next thing. Life is nothing but, life is like a game. It's like a simulation and shit. That's why people like to call it what, what meta and all this shit they make up. I don't believe half of that shit, bro. I could touch bases on that, but this video is specifically me showing you I don't tell y'all to do nothing that I don't do. I'm kind of liking this view though. It's a nice park, bro. I didn't want to go to the hood and do this because, bro, believe it or not, bro, <laughs> as much as I push positivity and shit, this shit is a balance, bro. You can't just be no positive-ass nigga, bro. You got to deal with the other negative negative people that's out here, bro. Just because you a positive nigga don't mean that nigga going to be positive for you. You don't give a fuck what you got going on. That's the same shit as when motherfuckers be like, they pushing peace. Yeah, you pushing peace, but when the nigga not pushing peace with you, though, then that's what you got to really take it that. You feel me? But just be, just do shit that you want to do, bro. You want to fucking go outside and you want to fucking ride your bike reading a book. I don't know how you going to do it, but do it. You feel me? I'm I'm for doing what you want to do, bro. No matter if you comfortable with it or if you uncomfortable with it. Just do it. You feel me? Now, did I want to go to this park, bro, and record and look like I'm talking to myself? Fuck no. <laughs> I'd rather stay in my car and do it or stay in my house and do it, bro. Because this shit make me look like I'm fucking crazy. But I don't care, bro. 
because I'm getting the message out there. That's what I'm doing. Every fucking day I post, I'm getting the message out there. So whatever you want to do, whatever your purpose is, bro, grind to do the things that you got to do that's uncomfortable and today comfortable so you can do the purpose. What's your purpose, bro? I keep telling y'all that every video. You got to make it make sense. Yeah, bro. My phone ran out of storage, but we back at it, bro. You got to live for you. You can't live for other people, bro. You stay worried about what other people looking at you like or other people think you like. How they feel about you, bro. It don't matter. As long as you feel like you at peace with yourself, that's all that matter. Me doing this video is helping y'all. And it's also helping me because I'm trying to get used to doing these vlogs out camera, outside and shit. I guess this would be a vlog kind of because I'm talking and I'm vlogging outside. But you feel me? I'm trying to get used to doing that shit because I do be in the house a lot, bro. Uh, that's the majority of me. I'm just a house-ass nigga, bro. Nothing wrong with you. Nothing wrong with being a house-ass nigga, bro. You feel me? But I want to touch bases with nature, bro. Like, when you outside and shit, you get to see the trees and shit. You get to see other people. You get to connect more and shit. You feel me? Like, on my journey, folks, because I don't know the end of my journey. I just know I'm trying to go through the fucking journey. I'm trying to go through this rebirth with y'all. On this journey, I'm probably supposed to be outside right now doing a video and I'm supposed to meet somebody. I don't know. This person I meet could be the person that helped me change my life even more. Or I can help, me, I can help them change their life even more. I don't know until I go outside and do the shit that I'm... That I keep telling myself that I don't want to do, bro. You feel me? Damn, all these bugs and shit, bro. What the hell going on? But I kind of like this park. I just don't like this seat because this seat has shit. And I'm short as hell, bro. But um, do what's uncomfortable, bro. You feel me? I really tried to get a setup, but this shit is kind of off. Why the fuck do I want to get on this thing right here, right? <laughs> like, I'm not 23 trying to get on that shit it's this part so empty it's crazy but um yeah bro i don't got too much to say for real gotta live life by yourself you don't need nobody when you do get that somebody's gonna be feeling extra special because you was already doing the shit by yourself it's just now you got somebody to do it with you feel me kind of like this view if y'all can't see myself <laughs> I'm walking on this damn thing. I need a camera for real, for real, but the grind don't stop. Whoa, this shit looks scary as shit. Ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I'm still finna go in this bitch. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm gonna just bust my shit. Hold on. Oh, shit. This kind of scary, bro. Hey, you ever looked at some shit, right? That shit say wee boy. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is supposed to be the fucking suburbs kind of right <laughs> but look you ever see some shit and you watch so many scary movies like when you see it in person it remind you of some shit so now it seems scary to do it this shit look like some fucking scary kid movie shit bro but i'm still finna do this shit though I ain't gonna lie this shit kind of fun though because i'll be working with kids and shit and i'll be um <laughs> playing in the park with them and shit playing tag with them and i know you probably thinking like i thought this video was supposed to help me do what's uncomfortable no this video is to help you and tell you what's uncomfortable and do it but also show you me doing it that's what i feel like a lot of these youtubers don't do they tell you to do all this shit but they never show you them doing it you feel me like that's that's the thing i really want to just let just listen just be quiet though right quick How the fuck I'm gonna get down? Oh shit, this shit crazy. <laughs> Just listen though. Birds and shit. Nature. You feel me? You gotta connect to your roots. You gotta touch grass, nigga. You feel me? And they ain't time I running. You can do that too. It's a squirrel. I hate fucking squirrel. I'm talking shit. I think squirrels don't like me either. I almost just bust my shit trying to hold this camera and do this at the same time. But I did the shit though. I think my next step is to go to a park with people and then do it. Because I think I feel too comfortable. I don't want to feel comfortable. I want to feel uncomfortable. You feel me? That's the whole gist of this video and this idea. And it don't matter how many views this get. It don't matter if you like the video or if you don't like it. I still did it because I did it for me. And I got to go because my phone going to die. But I want to say this last thing, though. Ooh, I should have been right here from the jump. <laughs> Hold on, my keys in my pocket and shit. Hold on. I should have been right here from the jump, though. Oh, 
Oh, shit. I want to say one thing. Do what's best for you. Don't do what's best for your family, bro. Because what's best for your family is what they wish they had that they can't do. But they see the potential in you to do it. So now they're trying to force you to fulfill their goals that they never could do. Because they didn't have the courage to do it when they was a kid. Because they was letting other shit get in their head. Letting other people get in their head. So now they're trying to get in your head. And the stuff you want to do, they don't want you to do it. Because they couldn't do it. But they want you to do something. That they couldn't do. They trying to fulfill their life in your life. Do what's best for you. Not your fucking family, bro. And I think that's the realest shit I said this whole video. Oh, shit. I'm going. My neck hurts. Shit. I just left the doctor some more shit. I'm going. I think this video long enough for y'all, man. You feel me? If it resonated, hit that like. If it didn't, still hit that like. And if you don't hit that like, you a fucking hater. Yeah, hold on, I need a thumbnail. Shit. Forgot the thumbnail. Y'all gonna come with me to do this thumbnail too. Oh, my neck hurts. That shit's hell. That shit's hell suspect. It's hell, my neck hurts. Alright, this is the thumbnail though. Hold on. You gotta really get in the gist, you feel me? Hold on. Oh, boom. Yeah, like this. This could be the thumbnail.